Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16 firing the Harm using the Harm targeting system. This little pod makes the Harm much easier to use and there are very few reasons not to be carrying one. As always, control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Check master arm on for air to ground mode. We don't need the radar, so we're going to turn the radar to silent. On the left MFD will bring up the HAD page, so that's the harm attack display. On the right MFD will power on the harm and then switch to the horizontal situation display. That's our weapons ready to go, but since we're up against SAMs, we're going to set up our ECM and our countermeasures. On the countermeasures panel, mode to semi-auto. That means you'll have to manually release countermeasures, the type and quantity will be selected for you. Set the threat warning volume as required, ECM transmitter to mode 2, that's ECM priority, and turn on all of the transmitters. CMS aft to activate. There's a search radar on our harm attack display. Press display management switch down to set the harm attack display as soy. Target management switch up to lock the target. Red box indicates a successful handover and the harm's ready to fire. PGM-5 shows the accuracy of your lock. Lower numbers, more accurate. You want it to be PGM-1 or 2 in order to fire the missile. As you fly around, particularly if you don't go straight at the SAM, you'll improve the quality of that lock. That's the tracking radar. I'm going to unlock that search radar with target management switch down. Raid button to zoom in. We're looking for a number 2. Repeats what we're seeing in the radar warning display. That's the one TMS up to lock. Press RAID again to zoom out. That's the main tracking radar for this SAM site. A link to a list of these radar types in the video description. Very simple launch symbology. Permitted launch zone in white. Time to impact and time of impact. And your dynamic launch zone. Note the wide shape of that launch zone means you can fire essentially over your shoulder. Magnum. Missile flight time was going to be just over a minute, so we can press the time button to track that. The aircraft isn't tracking the actual flight time for you, so you've got to do that kind of in your head. Let's lock up that search radar, PGM-2, so we can take a shot at that as well. Magnum. The missiles fire and forget, so that's GTFO. How you do that really depends on the tactical situation, but we're going to go fast and low. Just using the HMD to keep an eye on roughly where that SAM site is. Counter. That prompt is telling us to drop some chaff. We're not going to do that unless they actually launch a missile. But it does mean they've got a lock on us now, and our ECM is going to be working hard to counter that. Now we've killed it, so it should drop off the radar warning any moment. There it is. And that's a good hit on the search radar as well. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit the subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.